To say the white man is not the devil is like saying Kim Kardashian is not a hoe. To say that the white man is not the devil is the same thing as saying that Donald Trump is not a narcissist that loves to grab kittens. To say that the white man is not the devil is to say that all of them pedophiles in the Vatican Church, in the Roman Catholic Church, don't love little boys and little girls. It's a goddamn lie. The white man is the devil. And you just saw one of his little grandchildren. I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. This is Priest Kevin the Dawn Hall with the I S U P K. On the Command and Journey Island in California, man. It's like all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know. I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Prayed to him all the time but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Prayed to him all the time but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call To be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top door Funny how we see vanity and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord to kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me but that G should take a girl straight to extra Shalom DC, we don't I She became the Israelite school of universal property knowledge Started out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York We're now affiliated and or associated with any other Israelite group on the planet and If they're not on the command of Jerry Yohanna, they do not have the truth Now you just see what just happened for years, under command of Jerry Yohanna, the ISBK has been telling blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians that the white man is the devil the Bible speaks of, and you just saw visual evidence of it. You just saw visual evidence of it, man. What we're doing out here is teaching blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians who your enemy is, man. You're not supposed to love everybody. It's no such goddamn thing as equality. No such thing as equality in America, man, throughout this entire earth. It's only us against all these other nations. You got that, brother? Read. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is what? Given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked, man. Who has power in America? The white man. Who has executive power? The white man. Legislative power? The white man. Who got power to determine what stores you go to to get food? Who got power to determine which jobs you get? The white man. He is the wicked on this earth. For 400 years we've been in America. 400 years. We call wets, spit, spitbacks, thugs, criminals. Read, brother. Pay attention, bro. Pay attention. Verse 20. Sorry. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Who's the judges? Right there, the 12 disciples. Our king, Yahweh Shai. Mashiach in the Hebrew, man. He covered the faces of the judges of earth, man. Did you know, ever since they took us on them slave ships, they called us savages, and they beat and lynched Christianity into our very soul. Telling us they will civilize us, man. Well, we had our own history. We had our own culture. That's right. We had our own God that we used to worship, man. Yeah. But now, since we joined to America, believing that America's right, they're believing that America is the American dream, now we're fighting each other. We're killing each other for drugs, over Jordans, Air Force Ones. Who taught you that? Our ancestors? The Most High? Hell no, that's the white man. That's society, man. A society that wasn't built for us, that wasn't made for us. Read it again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? If not what? Where and who is he? If not, where and who is he? 
To say the white man is not the devil, it's like saying Kim Kardashian is not a hoe. To say that the white man is not the devil is the same thing as saying that Donald Trump is not a narcissist that loves to grab kittens. To say that the white man is not the devil is to say that all them pedophiles in the Vatican Church, in the Roman Catholic Church, don't love little boys and little girls. It's a goddamn lie. The white man is the devil. And you just saw one of his little grandchildren. Acting a milk, as usual. Read it again, man. Verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? If not, where is who is he? Drop that. I need an apocryphal. Real fast. Apocryphal. I need first Maccabees chapter 3, verse 4 to 8. I need you to give me that real quick, man. First Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48, man. For years we've been telling blacks and Spanish and their man is that the white man is the devil, man. Who is the only one capable on this entire earth? To enslave 77 million Native American Indians, man. To put 99 million blacks on the translated slave trade, man. And I always hear white people coming up saying, oh, slavery's in the past. If slavery's in the past, why are you still celebrating 9-11? 9-11's in the past, right? You're telling me a thousand people in two towers trumps 99 million blacks during the translated slave trade? 77 million Native American Indians? They got their land stolen, their children taken away, now commit suicide and drinking themselves to death on reservations? You tell me 9 11 Trump's that? Get out of here, man. It's time for us to wake up. Not everything in America love roses and rainbows. That's a lie that you've been taught ever since you was a little kid, man. You got that? Read. First Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 48. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the light. Hold on, hold up. Start it from the top. I don't come. Verse 48. And laid open the book of the law. Now, this is the apocryphal, man. This is part of the original King James verse 1611. That the Roman Catholic Church, the organizations of pedophiles, homosexuals, have right. taken out of the Lord's book. Right. Read it. Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. What? what? The heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Well, once again, the church of chapels, Mark, Joseph, our King Jesus, David, Solomon, Adam, Abel, Cain, all the people in the Bible are white. The brother just brought it out, the Ten Commandments. Moses, a white man. Let's be at your damn mind. Yeah, when he, when he talked to the Lord, the Lord told him to put his hand in his bosom. He put his hand in his bosom and it came all white. But when he put it back, it was dark. Showing him that he was a dark man, man. Right. Moses was a Levite, a so-called Haitian, a brother. Ain't no damn way Moses gonna be no white, white scrawny, ruggy, foul smelling, chalk heaven, white devil. Come on, man. The Lord said out of his own mouth, Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated. Let me ask y'all a question. Christian pastors and black leaders always say, God don't have hate in his heart. If somebody stole your car, would you be mad? If somebody broke into your house, stole your birth certificate, your ID, your driver's license, and all your money out of your bank account, would you be mad? Well, guess what? That's the same with the Most High. That's why he's called the father of heaven. He's a father, he's a parent. And just like any parent, if anybody puts their children in danger, that parent is gonna be mad. That parent is gonna be angry. Well, guess what? The Arabs have put us in danger. The Chinese has put us in danger. The Japanese has put us in danger. The Africans have put us in danger. The white man, the devil the Bible speak of, have put us in danger. Why do you think all these tornadoes and tsunamis and earthquakes and hurricanes and volcanoes are happening on the earth? Because of Mother Nature? Ain't no thing in Mother Nature. That's God doing it, man. That's God telling his people to wake up. 
Because he's about to come and bring some real destructions. When you see it on the news, there ain't nothing what compare to what the Lord can do, man. That's right. And we will understand that if we would have followed his laws and read his laws, man, which is in this book. Why we haven't been doing that? Because the heathen has put his image in this book. Now we thinking that the white man's God. Now we thinking that the white man's Jesus. And every time that justice doesn't come to us, what happens? What do your black children say? Oh, 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 God will help you. God loves everybody. To hell with that. If God loves everybody, he wanted to destroy five cities of homosexuals. Just like, just like if God loved everybody, he wanted to destroy Egypt and brought his people out of captivity, man. Drop that. Give me Psalms chapter 55, verse 21. I need the Bible. Psalms chapter 55, verse 21. We gotta wake up, man. We have to wake up. Police are killing our boys and girls in the street as we speak, man. And we hold up, still like When did when did Trayvon Martin die? When did Trayvon Martin was murdered? What year? What year? Both yeah. Twenty twelve, right? Twenty twelve. It's two thousand nineteen. That's the meme, right? It's two thousand nineteen. It's two thousand nineteen, and we're still getting and still getting killed by police. Twelve. Twelve. Twenty twelve. Why? Because the brother had his mu music on. The brother had his music on, man. I'm so lucky. No, no, no. That's Michael Brown. You see, there's so many that's happening. There's so many deaths that's happened to our boys. Kids. I can't even count them right now. Trevor Martin got killed by George Zimmerman because he was in a neighborhood that he wasn't supposed to be in. Michael Brown got killed by a white preacher because his music was too damn loud in his house, in his car. And Garner got killed in the streets of New York because he was selling cigarettes. White man sells cigarettes. Why he's not falling like, like falling down, man? Why he's not being killed, man? Who else? Stephen Clark. Stephen Clark got shot down by police officers. Why? Because they thought that he was breaking into a house. Come to find out, that brother was trying to get in his own house. He didn't have his keys. So he got killed on his own property. And as usual, every time a black brother or sister died in the streets, what did the white man do to the families? Oh, here's $100,000. Here's $200,000. We are so sorry. Y'all saw the footage of Sandra Bland, right, when she got arrested? That just came out. That was Sandra Brand's perspective. That's, that's her, that's her camp, um, video recording the sheriff, the cell phone, when she got arrested. And then she died. She got hung. And then they talking about that she committed suicide. Let me tell you something. Only white people commit suicide. Black people don't that's commit right. suicide. We are, black people, black Hispanics and American Indians have more sense in their damn head than white person. Black White people will, if you go to New York, if, if the market goes down, they'll jump out the 50th window because they lost all their damn money. Right. We don't have no money to begin with. Right. The Great Depression. The Great Depression, they said that was the worst time in America. Hell no. It was the worst time for white people. Right. In the Great Depression, we didn't even have money. And we were still rolling. Right. Yeah, and we had to think, good. And we had to go Oklahoma. How did Tulsa, Oklahoma get destroyed? Because of a white woman who allegedly said that a black a brother that was an elevator uh, that was doing the elevators was supposedly trying to sexually harass me. And then Tulsa, Oklahoma got burned to the ground, and destroyed, and they called the Tulsa, Oklahoma, the Tulsa riots or the Tulsa, Oklahoma riots, when it's really called the Tulsa, Oklahoma massacre. That's right. Because that's what it was a massacre of blacks in a black-owned community. The back then when we had Tulsa, Oklahoma, we was flourishing. We had our own black businesses, own black doctors, own black nurses, all black everything, everything black we own. All the way to the 60s. What happened then? White man saw, oh, these Negroes, they getting prosperous. If they get, if they get more prosperous, they're not going to need us. They're not going to come to our stores. They're not going to come to our hospitals. They're not going to get medicine. Soccer, soccer General? They gonna be begging. They ain't gonna be begging no more. And guess what? They destroyed it, man. And Uncle Tom's, like Jesse Jackson, L. Sharpton, Martin Luther King, Farrakhan, 
Hey, I'm sharp, dude. Oh, hold on. I already said Al Sharp. Good low, good low. You see so many. I see them all the time. Eddie Long, who else? Who else? T.D. Jakes. Steve Harvey. All the civil rights leaders. That they all tell you the same thing. Oh, oh, you got to march. You got to protest. Drop that. You got Psalm chapter 55, verse 21? And we keep begging the white men for justice, man. Read. Psalms chapter 55, verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Hold up. The words of whose mouth? The words of his mouth. The words of the white man's mouth. Let this noise pass. I ain't gonna let this sound this, this speak what the Lord is trying to bring out. Read on. Was smoother than butter. The white man's words were smooth than butter. Smooth than butter. Every time our brothers and sisters get slaughtered to sleep, what they say on the news? Oh, it's a tragedy. Oh, it's a tragedy. Here's the thing. You remember when ba on Baltimore, when Freddie Gray got killed in Baltimore, and the brothers and sisters was riding in Baltimore. Now, it was wrong, but they was protesting. Because they got tired of seeing the injustice happening, man. But when white people protest, and what do you call, what do you say? What about talk? Oh, no, no, no. All right, t t talk Woods, he he love what we he, he don't want he don't want to fit with him, man. Read. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Now. When black people try to protest, they're called thugs, criminals. They're called animals. When white people protest, oh, it's a peaceful protest. Oh, they're young. Oh, they're, they're young children and uh, they're young white people. They're young white citizens protesting. What are they call? What is starting to call the Black Lives Movement? A riot. A pro. Uh, a riot. They're not calling it a protest anymore. They're calling it riots now. How many, how, how long are we going to keep continuing and thinking that America is going to give us justice for all the atrocities that have given us, man? Read. But war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. His words are smoother than butter, but war is in his heart. Guess what? I bet you he said he loved the, uh, the Japanese, right? But he bombed here in Shima and Nakasaki, Pearl Harbor. He said he loves everybody, but he bombed Syria. He bombed Iraq. He bombed Iran. He said he loves everybody, but he still have Native American Indians on reservations. He said he loves everybody, but blacks and Spanish are still getting gunned down in the streets. Brothers and sisters of Central America are running across the border, coming to America from what? From prosecution in their own land. But here, come find out, they're getting killed on the U.S. border. They're not even in the, they're not even in the states yet, and they're already getting killed, man. Right. We'll tell you, no matter what you do, every time we come to America for help, for guidance, we die. Drop that. Give me Isaiah chapter 32, verse 5. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 5. Now, real fast. You got it? Read. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 5. The vile person shall be no more called liberal. That's what your politicians and black leaders are about. They're vile, man. They speak vile. They speak vile. And what it again? Read it again. The vile person shall be no more called liberal. The vile person shall no more be called liberal. What does it mean to be liberal, open-minded? Homosexuality. That's, that's open-minded, right? A man, can, like a man can stick his rod in another man's behind. A woman can look at another woman. What's that, homose uh, what's that, um, what's that homosexual sign that is that? HIV sign. What, what's that? What's it at? Real quick. The sign. The sign, the sign, brother. The sign. HIV sign. Homosexual sign. That sign. This, uh, this is what a liberal mind think of. When America told you that a man can stick his 12-inch rod into another man's behind, he didn't tell you nothing about AIDS, right? 
Look at look at this right here. RuPaul, drag queen, all this. This is what America promotes. This ain't a god. But I can tell you this is a god has been lying to you. God never said to dress up like a woman, a man dress up like a woman. God never told a woman to dress up like a man. God never told a man to sleep with another man. God never told a woman to sleep with another woman. That's what you get from Eddie Long, T.D. Jakes, Al Sharpton, and Jesse Jackson. Sell out Negroes that sold your very history for a dog. Trying to find something to follow Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? With them the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.